Hello students, welcome back. In our previous lecture, we have started with our unit 3 which is coordinate geometry. We have completed with exercise 3.1. In this, we will start with exercise 3.2. So 3.2 exercise question number first. It says write the answer of each of the following questions. First part is what is the name of horizontal and the vertical lines drawn to determine the position of any point in the Cartesian plane. So they are asking what are the names of the horizontal and vertical lines. So first of all let's draw the Cartesian plane. If you have seen the previous video then in that introduction I have told you about each and every part of Cartesian. This is the Cartesian plane. This is x axis. This is y axis. Okay. This is origin O point where they meet. This is the first quadrant, this is second quadrant, this is third quadrant and this is fourth quadrant. In this it is positive positive, in this it is negative positive, in this both are negative x and y and in this x is positive and y is negative. So now first part, they are saying what are the name of horizontal and vertical lines? So what are the names? The hori horizontal line is x axis and the vertical line is y axis. So x axis is horizontal line. Horizontal line and y axis. Y axis is vertical line. vertical line. Now the second part. Second part says what is the name of each part of plane formed by these two lines. Now they are asking what is the name of each part of this plane formed by these two lines. So what is the name of this each part, this part, this part, this part. What do we call them? They are known as quadrants. So they are known as quadrants. And how many quadrants are there? 4. First, second, third and fourth. Okay. This was second part. Let's come to third part now. Third part says, write the name of the point where these two lines intersect. So what is the point at which they intersect? This O point and this is known as origin. Origin. So this was first part. Uh, this was question number first. Now let's move on to question number second of this exercise. Let me just rub it off. Question number two. Question number two. See figure 3.4 and write the following. So first we have to draw a figure 3.4. Figure 3.4 it's quite long. This one and the points are till 6 minus 5 and 6. Here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is O origin. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Here again minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now we are given this is point L at 5. This and 2 and minus 5 this one and this this is point B and D is 2 6 this 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 point here it is D these are this is y axis and this is x axis 
okay and uh, minus 5 and minus 3 minus 5 and minus 3 this point is given as h this point is h and minus 3 and minus 5 minus 3 and minus 5 this point this point is given as e e this one okay and 2 and minus 4 is g 2 and minus 4 this point is g this point is g and uh, minus 5 and 5 this point this this is given as c i suppose yes c this is the figure now we have been given different parts and we have been asked to solve them first is coordinates of b first part is coordinates of b so what are the coordinates of b on y axis it's minus 5 and on uh, y axis it is 2 so coordinates are minus 5 and 2 these are the coordinates of b second part is coordinates of c c is this so what are the coordinates 5 on x and minus 5 on y oh, so it is 5 and minus 5 these are the coordinates of c third part the point identified by coordinates minus 3 and minus 5 so minus 3 and minus 5 what is the point minus 3 is this and minus 5 this so point is e minus 3 minus 5 you should note it down i am not writing the parts number i am just solving it directly in this figure okay now the th this was third part fourth part points identified by the coordinates 2 and minus 4 2 and minus 4 what is the point point is g 2 minus 4 the point is g g okay this is fourth part fifth part abscissa of point d what is abscissa abscissa is x coordinate x coordinate is 6 what are the coordinates of this this is coordinates are 6 2 and abscissa is equal to 6 this is fifth part okay sixth part ordinate of h sixth part ordinate of h h is this ordinate is y axis y axis is minus 3 so ordinate ordinate is minus 3 minus 3 this was sixth part now seventh part coordinates of l coordinates what are the coordinates of l it is on y uh, what is the abscissa of this point l abscissa is 0 and ordinate is 5 so 0 5 these are the coordinates of l now eighth part coordinate of point m where is m m point i missed m point is this one this is m point and the coordinates of point m point m coordinates are fc size minus 3 and ordinate is 0 now we can also verify it also if you have done wrong or not this is always plus plus this is always negative plus this is always negative and negative and this is always positive and negative if you see this is positive negative positive negative positive positive this is also po this is on the y axis so this is all positive in the upper half this is negative positive this is this point h is also minus 3 uh, mi minus 5 and minus 3 so negative negative and e is again negative negative let me write it down minus 5 and minus 3 r h we have written here also ordinate for h and here abscissa for point d so this was question number 2 of exercise 3.2 with this we have completed our exercise 3.2
now we will start with exercise 3.3 okay i'm just let me just rub it out exercise 3.3 question number first first question it says in which quadrant or on which axis do each of these points lie verify your answer by locating them on a cartesian plane so they have given us some points and they are asking in which quadrant do they lie and we have to verify also by putting placing them in a cartesian plane so first of all let's draw one this is our cartesian plane now this point is 0 this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is x axis this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 minus 2 minus 3 Minus four, minus five, and this is y-axis. This is again minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six. So what are the points? First point is minus two, three. First is Minus two and sorry four minus two four so minus two this is axis and four so it lies somewhere here so it is in second quadrant second quadrant okay now second part second part is three minus one three minus one so positive negative it will lie in Fourth quadrant, we can directly solve it. So three and minus one, so it will lie somewhere here. Three minus one, this is minus two, four. Okay. Now third point, minus one zero, minus one zero. So on which point it is lying? Minus. One and zero, so it is lying on x-axis. X-axis. Okay, this is x-axis. Fourth. Fourth is one two. One and two both are positive. Positive side in first quadrant. One two around here. One. So this was minus one and zero. Okay. Now fifth point. Fifth is minus three minus five. Both are negative. So in third quadrant, minus three and minus five. Here. This is minus three and minus. so this was question number first now let's move on to question number second of this exercise question number 2 question number 2 says plot the point x y given in the following table on a plane choosing suitable units of distance on your axis so they are saying we have to plot the various points which have been given in this so first of all let's draw a cartesian plane so this is cut our cartesian plane and this is x axis and this is y axis points are 1 2 3 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री माइनस फोर माइनस फाइव माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री माइनस फोर एंड माइनस फाइव एंड दिस इज ओरिजिन ओ नाउ वी हैव इन गिवन पॉइंट्स एंड यूजिंग सुटेबल यूनिट्स ऑफ डिस्टेंस ऑन द एक्सेस सो डिस्टेंस टेक दिस इज वन सेंटीमीटर ओके जीरो टू दिस इज इच डिस्टेंस इज वन सेंटीमीटर इफ यू आर ड्रॉइंग इट ऑन पेपर इफ यू आर ड्रॉइंग इट ऑन ग्राफ देन यू कैन डिवाइड इट देर आर लाइन्स डिफरेंट लाइन्स सो यू कैन राइट दैट वन स्पेस इज इक्वल टू टेन यूनिट्स और फाइव यूनिट्स वट एवर यू आर टेकिंग सो फर्स्ट पार्ट फर्स्ट इज माइनस टू एट माइनस टू एंड एट सो माइनस टू एक्स एंड एट ऑफ वाई सो हेयर द पॉइंट विल लाइ हेयर माइनस टू एंड एट सेकेंड पार्ट सेकेंड पार्ट इज माइनस वन एंड सेवन माइनस वन एंड सेवन सो दिस इज माइनस वन एंड दिस इज सेवन so it will cut somewhere around here so this is minus 1 and 7 now third part third part is 0 minus 1.25 0 minus 1.25 0 that means uh, abscissa is 0 so it means it will lie on y axis and it is minus 1.25 so it will lie somewhere between minus 1 and minus 2 so if you are drawing it on graph you can accurately point it out so it will lie somewhere around here this one so it is 0 minus 1.25 okay this is third point now fourth point fourth point is 1 and 3 1 and 3 so this is 1 and this is 3 it will lie in first quadrant somewhere around here so it is 1 3 this was fourth fifth 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 so where is 3 3 here and minus 1 here so it will lie somewhere around here so 3 and minus 1 so easy question nothing very easy unit you can easily score out of this you should just know the basics and for basics go through our introduction exercise i have given you all the basics which ever you will be needing for solving the questions related to coordinate geometry so this was question number second of exercise 3.3 with this we have completed our unit 3 so we will start with unit 4 now so thank you very much